I got into tattooing just from general unemployability, but. <laughs> I was a trained artist already. My mother was an artist. I had gone through the wife role, which was a, with a lot of us from this last generation, the generations prior in women, that was our big goal, to have be married and have kids. And my father was a fighter pilot. And really, growing up, I just wanted to be a fighter pilot. But he kept telling me I could just marry one. And, you know, it was fun, but I really wanted to, to contribute. And I really wanted to have I mean, a life of a, a fully lived life and a life of action and tattooing for an artist is the most action-packed job you can get. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in late 2014 with uh, stage two, three, uh, triple negative. I did all my treatments, had a lot of complications with them, but I am, have been in remission for 18 months now. So it was suggested that I have a double mastectomy also just because triple negative has a high reoccurrence rate. I have the mastectomy scars, they're not even, and it takes a big commitment and it's a big challenge. And for my husband to say, yes, we're gonna get in the car and drive 10 hours to go and do this for you, I knew that he was behind me all the way. I ultimately want to look in the mirror every single day while I'm getting dressed and see something of beauty. And a piece of art is just, you totally can quit looking at those scars then. If I can share this and other people see it and be able to say, wow, I'm like her. I'm a 55-year-old, slightly overweight woman, <laughs> mother, grandmother, and um, that's been through breast cancer and horrible treatments and bald head and came back, you know, and then be able to finish this up and, and feel as complete again as you possibly can. Then I was all in. The whole survivor mentality, that's always been tattooing. It's always been the soldiers going off to war, you know, the marginalized. So these women who have faced death down and are left with their battle scars, who cheated death essentially, have everything to gain from owning their bodies and transforming the way they see themselves as champions. You always know that you're a cancer survivor but you don't really want it to define you in every single day and everything you do. Well, unfortunately, when you see the scars, it does. So now I can totally redirect that and it reminds me of something happy like this. Are you ready to see your new body, baby? Yes. Okay, close your eyes. We're gonna turn you around. All right, Stacey Ann. Meet yourself. <laughs>